The DNA matrix can be used to prove or verify your genealogy. Here's an example of a family tree that was revealed to be an error when DNA testing was done. My grandmother, Connie Cahoon, emigrated from Scotland as a young lass. In the early 1900s, she arrived in Canada alone and unchaperoned. What could go wrong? My grandmother always said that her husband, Alfred, was the father of her four daughters, including Ruby. I even have Ruby's official government birth certificate. The DNA matrix is a combination of descendant chart with intersections. The intersections show the amount of DNA shared by two people, their relationship according to the genealogy, and their probability that two people who share this much DNA are thus related. When my cousins and I were tested, red flags appeared on our DNA matrix, also known as a descendant tree, indicating that the stated genealogical relationship was inconsistent with the genetic results. Some relationships were completely outside the range of shared DNA. Other relationships were consistently a very low probability. There was something wrong with this chart. My oldest cousin, B.C., recalled some strange statements made by her relatives, and we finally put the puzzle together. Ruby was not Alfred's daughter, but someone else's. Connie had had a relationship that left her with a daughter. Later, she met and married Alfred, and he passed Ruby off as his own daughter. When the tree is corrected for the new relationship, all the red flags disappear as the DNA tests are completely within the range for half cousins. The DNA matrix enabled us to snatch a century old secret from the grave.